Yo guys, what is going on and welcome to today's YouTube video. In today's video, we will be discussing the current state of Bitcoin and we will also be going over Ethereum, in which both of them are looking very, very interesting and we might be looking for potential long positions in the upcoming days. Okay, first of all, Bitcoin last weekend, last Friday, with another big bump towards the upside after people kept on trying to short the resistance over here. They didn't short it up top, but every single time the Bitcoin did make a small move towards the downside, people started shorting over here. Same over here, small move towards the downside, people started shorting over here. And it was shown by the open interest increasing and also the CVD signs were showing that people were trying to short the bottom every single time and they got squeezed out very hard. Okay, over the weekend, Bitcoin with pretty choppy movement, very choppy range, and right now we can be looking for our potential next position on bitcoin so first of all in my opinion probably we might have finished up the third wave finally for bitcoin so we have our first wave second wave third wave some people say this is the fourth wave i think we have an extended third wave towards this area so then our wave count variates from this one to this one in which we might be looking for the fourth wave in order to profit during the fifth wave towards the upside right now you're probably wondering okay guru but where are we going to look for potential long positions what is the next support for bitcoin to determine that support i want to go with our fibonacci retracement tool and i want to go from swing low to swing high and what can we see we can see that we have the 0 0.236 perfectly lining up with the previous area of resistance and we can see that we have that 0 0.382 fib before perfectly lining up with this daily level of support over here also this is also the previous massive resistance area for bitcoin that is perfectly lining up with our area of interest we also know that the fourth wave usually retraces back towards the 0 0.236 or the 0 0.382 fib level in which this is perfectly lining up with our previous area of resistance with our previous consolidation area before we got another move towards the upside okay so in that case it is looking quite interesting also we can see that the third wave is probably divided into five smaller waves so we have our first wave second wave third wave fourth wave fifth wave in which we might maybe be expecting some kind of an a b c correction inside our area of support before we continue towards the upside to finish up that higher time frame fifth wave for bitcoin on top of that if we go on the daily time frame and we zoom out and we take the fixed range volume profile of this entire range that bitcoin has been forming since june we can see that we have our biggest volume cluster starting over here in which that is perfectly lining up with our area of interest so you can see big volume gap over here and over here this is where the biggest volume is starting within our range so that volume node as we call it should act as very nice support for the bitcoin price as well and it is perfectly lining up so if we mark out this level this volume node over here we can see it is literally to the dollar accuracy perfectly lining up with a 0.236 fib level and our previous area of resistance for bitcoin <clears throat> so that is very very interesting and definitely something that we should be watching what i also really like is that we have this daily level of support over here which is perfectly lining up with a 0 0.382 uh, fib level okay second scenario would be too many people looking too long this area because it is the obvious area of support in which we probably sweep these two lows we sweep the sell side liquidity into this area of support and we bounce from there that is also a scenario that i'm potentially watching not really sure if i already want to start longing around at 0 0.236 fib level but we also know there is quite some fomo going around bitcoin people are trying to to long and buy every single small pullback that we get so it is definitely possible that we do get a bounce already from the first area of support okay if we take the fixed range volume profile of this previous range we can see that the point of control is perfectly lining up with this small area of demand where this big move towards the upside was starting from okay so if we zoom in remove the brush for a second we can see that this little demand candle over here is perfectly lining up with this previous point of control of that range that is also a nice area where you might be looking for potential long positions for bitcoin 
okay so that is what i'm currently watching for bitcoin also in the daily time frame if we switch on the 200 estimated moving average so we remove the other ones we can see that it is perfectly lining up with our area of resistance and this is a very important ema that we just broke through so if we get a bullish retest of that ema that is definitely lining up nicely with our area of support so another confluence for bitcoin okay let's move over to ethereum for ethereum today i want to start looking on the lower time frames because i do think that the lower time frames are looking quite interesting so we can see definitely still a nice uptrend a little weaker compared to bitcoin around this stage but still very interesting if you ask me so if we go on a four hourly time frame what can we see we can see that we have our previous range over here got a potential breakout over here why is this valid over here got a very nice sweep of that low into this imbalance over here got that sweep afterwards we got a bounce with a lot of momentum towards the upside in which we got a very nice let me mark it out very nice break of structure over here for the ethereum price so in my opinion this makes it valid for us to start looking for potential long positions do you want to be looking for long positions near resistance obviously not do you want to be looking for long positions on a potential pullback anticipating a potential breakout towards this level or even two thousand dollars for ethereum in my opinion i think it is worth the risk so what i'm going to do i'm going to mark out the previous range first so we have our range high over here and we have our range low over here so if i'm going to mark that out as a range and extend this to the right we can also see beautiful respect of the previous range high trying to hold the support i think it makes a little bit more sense that we get a deeper pullback first in which that mid range is certainly very interesting okay you can also see previous consolidation as soon as we close in our four candle above we got a breakout towards the upside okay so definitely pivotal level definitely an area where i'm interested in potential long positions we can also see that the feature is volume profile point of control of the previous range perfectly lining up with that mid range guys so that is a very very nice confluence for ethereum if we go from swing low to swing high switch on the fib retracement levels we can also see that the 0 0.618 or the golden pocket and the 0 0.786 fib level this area is perfectly lining up with our mid range okay and we do know that if a certain impulse wave towards the upside is starting and let's say this is our first wave then we know that the second wave usually retraces back towards the 0 0.618 fib or the 0 0.786 fib so that is a very nice conflict that we could be looking at in which we can profit during the third wave fourth wave and then the fifth wave towards the upside bad drawings for me obviously third wave should be higher the fifth wave as well okay so that is what i'm currently potentially looking at for ethereum after a period of consolidation a period of pullback we might be looking for a potential new impulse towards the upside and if we do get that impulse towards the upside i think that that second wave should retrace back towards its mid range over here in which that is definitely a nice area to start looking for potential long positions for ethereum okay so we can also see previous daily open daily close also around the mid range so definitely a pivotal level for ethereum if we go on the four hourly time frame we can also see if we maybe get some ema confluence so let's switch on the emas let's remove the 20 and 50 ema because i'm not interested in those we can see that slowly the 100 ema is approaching for ethereum on the four hourly time frame which is a very important ema on the two hourly time frame 200 uh, the 100 ema is approaching very nicely as actually and on the one hour live time frame we can see that the 200 ema and the 200 moving average are lining up nicely with our area of interest and on the daily time frame we can also see that 200 ema is a little bit lower but we might use that to cover our potential stop loss okay but this is definitely a nice little potential setup that is developing on ethereum in which also if we go to two hourly time frame we are looking at a potential three drive better okay so let's remove this let's remove this and let's remove the emas for a second because we got our first drive over here second drive over here as you can see and then we got our third drive the second sweep potentially occurring over here for ethereum into our area of support 
in which if we get a reclaim of that range high, I think Ethereum will full send it towards that next high over here around $1,800. Okay, so that is what I'm currently looking at for Ethereum. That is our current plan for Bitcoin and Ethereum in the upcoming days. If you have any questions after watching this video, make sure to hit me up on Twitter. Make sure to ask me in a free Discord. Both of the links can be found in the description. Please make sure to join the free Discord. A lot of alpha has been dropping in there. Okay, guys, if you like this future video, make sure to smash up the like button and make sure, to make sure to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I'll speak to you guys on Wednesday. Ciao, ciao.